Hey guys, so I'm going to be taking you along on a journey because a few days ago I embarked on 3D printing Loki's helmet crown. This one is a smaller version, it's not the full head helmet. And it's a journey because I had to overcome so many obstacles. I thought it was going to be just easy, like set up the printer, let it go. But um, alas, here we are. So let's go back to the beginning. So now we're here and my helmet crown thing is in five pieces. I printed it in seven pieces and it was just such a pain. It was supposed to be three pieces and I had to slice it because the print was going to take probably like 30 hours if I had just left it as the pattern said to do. And, um, oh my. I'm in my grandfather's workshop right now and I say that I wanted to take you on a journey, not a physical journey but the journey of me printing this. So this piece was supposed to be down to here. I have the other pieces for it. It didn't work out. So I had first print failed for one of the horns. I had to reevaluate everything. The second print, as I sliced the horns in half, that one worked. The third print, I tried to do the other half of the horn, that failed. So I had two failed prints, one good one at this point, and then I had, I believe, three prints in a row that worked. Or maybe it was even four, so I did get some better luck later on, but um, the problem was the um, filament was not sticking to the build plate, so it would go down and it would stick for a while, but once the print got bigger, um, it would cool down and peel off and then the printer would just move the object. So I had a lot of trouble with that, and right now I'm trying to use a rasp to kind of get rid of some of the material in here so that this actually fits together because at this point it doesn't so it's been a really really a long journey and I can't wait to finally finish this up except now like you can see there are a lot of cracks in it so I'm going to be trying to fill those in with hot glue and then I will be spray painting it
it's time to spray paint it. I have the spray paint here, and I've never spray painted something with color, so I guess here goes nothing. I've heard just to stay far away from it and do a lot of coats, so I guess here we go. So I finally finished my Loki crown slash horn slash helmet. I don't know exactly what this version of it's called, but here it is. So it's not like actually 100% finished because I still need to reinforce the inside of this joint on both sides with metal so that I can put a strap on it so I can actually wear it. But I'm really obsessed with how it came out. I think it came out great and I love the color that I did with the spray paint. Um, I think it's a lot better than the color of the filament that I used. So I am kind of bummed that the prints didn't come out in the pieces they were supposed to, but I'm still glad I was able to make it work and obviously I can reprint the horns later if I wanted to redo them and make it um, more perfect. So I love it. I think it's so great. So let me know what you guys think. Um, it was definitely a learning process with all of the printing because it was my first print I've ever done um, but it was totally worth all of the like struggle with the prints failing so I hope I can get the 3d printer figured out a little bit better uh, because I would like to do some prints in the future but yeah let me know what you think like I said make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I'll see you guys later Bye.